Hello my lovely YouTubers. I'm going to do a kind of after Christmas haul. Um, I only got one item for Christmas which was a Wii. Uh, my siblings and my dad kind of went in together on that so um, I got that and uh, my boyfriend got me a gift card to a place called It's Just Jewelry. It, you can order online. So um, that's really all I got for Christmas and I'm sitting on my bed today because I thought I'd be a little more comfortable snuggling in. It's cold outside and I got the sniffles so I'm sorry pre for that because uh, I'm going to be sniffling. Um, my next two videos are going to be in this location because I'm going to film two today. I'm going to film a review after this so let's get started with this quick haul. Um, first when I went into Victoria's Secret to buy my sister a gift card for Christmas I bought myself Pure Seduction and Love Spell in the small sizes. These are three dollars. Um, I like purse sizes and sometimes if I'm not sometimes the way they smell when you open them isn't really how they smell and so I like to test out uh, body spray sprays sometimes before I buy new ones and sometimes I just like buying the small ones for purse sizes and I got Pure Seduction and Love Spell and Love Spell has been like all over the place but I kind of almost like Pure Seduction a little more I think this one's a little sweeter so um, I got these to try out and then we went to an outlet mall the day after Christmas uh, 45 minutes away from where I live um, to check out what they had and deals and different stuff like that and the one thing I've been looking for is a sorry the bed is shaking the dog keeps moving um, is a winter hat because it's cold here and I got one at Aeropostale and it's just one of those that you like kind of half leave your hair out kind of a thing I don't have a mirror so I have no idea how horribly bad this looks right now but it's just a gray sweater looking one. Um, this is nine fifty at Aeropo at the Aeropostale outlet. Um, so they had other colors. They had some brighter colors, but I wanted a basic gray. And uh, hats are important up here because you gotta keep your head warm when you go outside in the winter. So I wanted one that looked like a fluffy sweater, and that's what this one is. So I was super excited to find that. Then I went to Bath and Body Works, and they had a buy two get one free uh, body splash deal. So I got three different body splashes. Um, my favorite fragrance when I was like 14 and I used to just wear body splash was Sun Ripe and Raspberry and I haven't had this. I bought this in a really long time. So um, I bought Sun Ripe and Raspberry and this just reminds me of middle school. Oh, just oh, it brings me back. Um, I actually haven't went into a Bath and Body Works in a really long time. So this fragrance, I'm just glad they still had this. And then another fragrance that reminds me of when I was younger is the Country Apple. And somebody said they're phasing this out, which would sad me greatly. This one and the Sun Ripe and Raspberry. Like, I used to live in these two fragrances when I was in middle school. Like, because I went to a private school, I went to Catholic school, and you couldn't wear, like, heavy perfume. So, when I turned, when I was, like, 13, 14, and uh, I wanted to wear perfume and I started wearing makeup, body splashes were the thing for me. And Country Apple and Sun Ripe and Raspberry are my favorite. And then I wanted to try this new one. I've never seen this one before called Pearberry. And this one actually smells really sweet too. Definitely different. It doesn't it, It's kind of a new smell for me, so we'll see. I like fruitier fragrances. Um, I think that's really big for me. Uh, I tend to always wear something a little fruitier and not as strong. And the dog keeps moving because she's below the camera. So if it starts shaking, it's because the dog keeps moving. And then another thing I got, which... I'm going to have to unwrap, sorry, should have that before, was this bubble bath, uh, the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep Luxury Bath, it comes in a glass jar, and it smells like their, uh, like, pillow spray and stuff, and I love the sleep pillow spray, it's always a relaxing thing for me, and I like to take baths at night to, uh, relax, and this has lavender and chamomile in it, which is supposed to be really relaxing, so I look forward to taking a bath in that. And this is a cute little jar. And this was like $2.99 and normally it's $9.50. The outlet had this for $2.99. So I definitely want to go back to the outlet. And the last thing I got, because Pinky Charm always talks about these. And I know she has several reviews of these. The Liplicious uh, lip colors, the lip glosses. This is Hot Cakes. And this makes me think of Green Acres where she goes, um, she goes, don't you want some Hot Cakes? She always makes Hot Cakes. She makes them really bad. She has no idea what she's doing. So I'm dating myself and, and the fact that I watch old TV. Um, but this smells so good. The color is nice. It's a new, it's a, it's a neutral color. But seriously, this smells like pancakes and syrup. 
Oh, if I keep smelling this, I'm going to get hungry. But, yeah, love these. And I know Pinky Charm does a lot of reviews on the Liplicious ones. I don't know if she did the one on Hot Cakes, but love it. And then I went to the Fragrance Outlet. Um, they have, like, it's a big store with all different, like, perfumes and colognes. Like, they had Britney Spears, they had Burberry, they had Chanel, tons of colognes. And when I went in, of course, what do I find but NYX? Or NYX, or however the heck you say it. I say NYX. I like NYX, because NYX is just kind of annoying. So, they had a 5 for five ninety five deal on, um, NYX. So, I got a eyeshadow in Blue Pearl. I have something similar to this from Sally Girl, but that's a little more black, a little deeper. This is a little more blue than black. So, um, I like that. This is one of the larger ones. I didn't know they came in different sizes. And then, the one I'm wearing my, on my eyes today, I don't know if you can see, is this one called Burgundy Pearl. And I've been waiting to try a nice cranberry color. So, I'm super excited about that. And I should swatch. my hand's going to be all blue. That's what it looks like on my finger, the blue one. That's what it looks like on my hand. Here's the burgundy on my finger. There's the, that's really bad swatch, but there's the burgundy on my hand, and it is on my eyes. I, I honestly don't know if you can tell, but it is on my eyes. And now I have this on my fingers. Awesome. Um, okay. Next, I bought a lipstick in, this is a Diamond Sparkle Lipstick, which I don't know if I really like these. This one is, what color is this? Sparkling Flamingo. It's a sparkly pink. It's very, very basic. It's just a bit nudie pink. Um, then I got, I wanted a red clear gloss, so I got the sheer gloss, and this is the red color. I don't even know what the heck color this is. It doesn't even really say a color. It's just a freaking bright red lip gloss. But what I didn't know about these, and I found out when I opened this to use it, it's a brush tip, which is really cool because you don't see brush tips on squeeze ones much. So I thought that was really cool that they did a brush tip on these. Really amused by that. And then the last thing I got, which I am wearing too, is a rouge cream blush, and this one is in rose petal. Looks like that, and I'll swatch here. That's the color, um... I'll put it on my hand. That's the color there. I do have it on my cheeks. Um, I put it on because this encore says cream to cream, powder to powder. So I put it on before I put my finishing powder on. And I put it on a little dark. And what I used to put it on was the, like, a, this is the e.l.f. Uh, foundation brush. I just used that and I patted it along and blended and then blended with my fingers a little bit. And then once I put my powder on, it was really blended. So it just looks like I have a natural flush, which is really, really nice. So... Um, I was excited about those things. I'm not a big cream blush person, but these NYX ones are kind of nice. I really did like this. This was easy to blend. I didn't have much trouble with this. They had a really hot pink one, and I almost wish I would have gotten that really hot pink one. Um, but I was a little scared because I'm not used to cream blushes, and I was scared of how it would blend. So I really enjoy that. And then, um, so, and then uh, the, the burgundy eyeshadow is nice. I'm not crazy about the lipstick. I'm not sure how I feel about the diamond sparkle. Not sure. It's a little glittery for me. Really not sure I feel about that, but I'll have to wear it more. I only like tested it out and wore it once, so I'll have to try it again. Um, if you want a more in-depth review on any of this stuff, let me know. I will let you know, or I will do a review. Um, my next video will be a review. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.